Let's make our game more professional by adding settings and UI elements to the game. Welcome back to my videos. You can see that we are using most usable UI elements in Construct 3. As you can see, we have a text box that is a combination of a sprite for back and text input on top for writing the name. We have this player progress that it starts filling and uh, goes to this uh, target number uh, by twin behavior. We have these buttons uh, for changing color when we click, changing scale and changing frame. And we have uh, checkboxes of vibration and SFX. These are just for showing and doesn't do anything. We have dark mode for changing uh, the theme and we uh, have this scroll bar for uh, changing volume and game difficulty settings that uh, that is a, a section for radio buttons okay let's go in the project okay guys you can see that we have this text input that follows uh, the codes inside input.css that i already added in the files folder and it doesn't have outline, border, and background and uses the size and this color and uh, uses this web font that I added in here and you can see that it has a, a sprite in the back and uh, in progress we have two tiled backgrounds first one is uh, progress back second one is progress bar that fills with this uh, twin behavior and this one shows the text based on the width of this object and uh, we have three different buttons from one object single button object that uh, that we separated uh, them by this type instance variable and you can see that these two uh, buttons colored by this property and the third one uses animation to for changing frame and uh, in here we have checkboxes <clears throat> that uh, you can see uh, this uh, option shows me uh, the area that we can click and yeah these four checkbox and dark mode has two object first one this toggle circle and this one is toggle back and by uh, hitting on this area uh, this one goes uh, to the other side using tween behavior and this one changes its color by tween and we have this uh, music back oh slider back and a slider uh, bar and we control it with this circle and we have this radio buttons as it as I explained for checkbox that we have a huge area for clicking we have these option in here too okay so let's go in the code okay you can see that we have this initial slider percent for uh, filling this part uh, 40% and this one is for slider dragging boolean and progress percent is for this one and you can change it here and in loading a spinner that starts in here you can see that uh, first we invisible the text input and after one second we uh, we invisible this layer loading layer that has this object with rotate behavior you can see that it rotates by this uh, by this behavior and then we visible uh, the text input which is this object and then we run progress bar this object and then we have this cursor style for uh, showing hand style or normal style when we are uh, when our cursor is over these objects and we have toggle button for uh, make it 
on and off and uh, when we make it on the dark mode is enabled and we make all texts all uh, all txt generals white these are the txt generals that we make them white and we change the x property and color property of these objects and we change background color and we do that uh, that stuff in here with different values okay in a slider in a slider bar group we uh, we have this options we first uh, put this object on this object and then uh, we set the pos positions and width at a start and then we make uh, make this variable true for touching and changing uh, x and width for slider bar okay and we have radio buttons when we click one of them we make all of them uh, off and then we enable or make on the selected one we have progress bar uh, that includes this even sheet and uh, you can see that we call this run progress bar in here after uh, making loading invisible okay we run this and based on this uh, formula we go and make the width of progress bar uh, based on progress percent okay you can see that in here and at first it shows zero percent and when it plays uh, the text sh shows the percent of uh, fillet progress bar okay and in the buttons we have these uh, these several types of buttons uh, first one is for color that ch changes the color between these two when we click or when we uh, end the touch and changing a scale to 90% and this one goes to the normal scale and frame goes to frame one and here goes back to normal frame which is zero and we have this text input that loads the sprite sheet by browser uh, plugin and the sprite sheet is this file this only file of CSS and for checkboxes uh, when we click on them if if it's uh, if it's empty make it filled and if it's not make it empty yeah just like this and you can see these uh, elements in your game and have fun with your project